Hi, I'm Tommy Calloway, and if you're one of my subscribers, you already know that, and if you're not, you probably don't care. So let's just get into what this video is about. If you're like me, you may have invested in some audio equipment, and you want to know how to get the most out of it. Or maybe you're just recording with your iPhone or your laptop, and you want to figure out how to make that sound much better. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that today with Adobe Audition uh, CC 2017. Now, you don't need a ton of expensive audio equipment. I I got some. I have a Zoom H6, which I started using. Um, I'm, I'm still playing with it, trying to figure out how to use it the best. Um, I've been using my Blue Spark, and I used to just use this Blue Icicle um, as the audio interface that gets it from XLR to USB. Um, but now, I, just over Christmas, I got a mixer. But regardless of what type of audio equipment you're using, uh, when you when you record into your computer, it's usually you know kind of quiet. Um, it's not perfect unless you're using like a dynamic microphone with a gain really high. The audio levels that go into your computer are going to be very low and quiet, at least in my case. Uh, regardless of what you're doing, let's figure out how to make that audio sound much better. I opened up Ad Adobe Audition here. Uh, I'm just going to open up a or create a new track here. No, I'm just going to create a new audio file. It's not going to be a multi-track session or anything. Uh, audio uh, screen audio one. I'll call it that. All right, so I have my audio here. Um, let's just record some sample. This is some test audio. Testing the audio for the video. Tommy Calloway, subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously. All right, so here's here's what it's gonna sound like. Right. This is some test audio. Testing the audio for the video, Tommy Calloway, subscribe if you haven't already, seriously. All right, so that's unprocessed. All right, so when you're processing the audio, there's a couple of like presets you can do that sound really great if you're just lazy and you wanna click one button and have it be completely finished. Uh, so if you go down to your effects, so click on effects rack over here on this thing we just recorded. Um, click this little arrow, go down to amplitude and compression multi-band compressor. Now this is something you can use if you just want to click one button, be done with it. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna get my headphones on. And you can you can play it in real time by having this green button turned on. Hit space bar. This is some test audio. Testing the audio for the video. Tommy Calloway, subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously. Um, and there's a lot of really interesting presets you can use uh, that make it sound, you know, really cool. Like you can make it, you can make it sound like your voice is coming out of a walkie-talkie or something. This is some test audio. Testing the audio for the video. Tommy Calloway, subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously. So what I've noticed with these is it gets me a lot of noise, and it's it's kind of bothersome. So instead of using the presets, we're gonna do it our own way. Um, and I've, I've made my own favorites here. I've called it Tommy process, but so when I click Tommy process, it processes my audio in a way that I, I usually like to process my videos and I'm getting text messages here. Now here's what it sounds like if I just run through my favorites and you can see they just populated over here in the effects rack. This is some test audio, testing the audio for the video, Tommy Calloway, subscribe if you haven't already, seriously. All right, so that's what that's what I usually do to my uh, audio now that I've learned how to use it. Uh, so I'm going to show you what this is: normalize, graph EQ, dynamics processing, parametric equalizer, adaptive noise reduction, normalize, hard limiter. Uh, so normalize, first step: effects, amplitude, and compression. Normalize. Um, I usually normalize it to ninety-eight uh, percent. Click apply, and then let's apply our graphic equalizer. Use a 20 band equalizer, and I just do vocal magic, breath, and it just kind of is one of the presets. All it does is boost your bass just slightly. Apply, it's just one of the defaults, very simple. Go to dynamics processing, effects, and if you if you know the name of what you're looking for and you can't find it in these things, if you just if you just go up to help and you type in dynamics or you know start typing what you want to type in, it'll show you right where it's supposed to be. And you can just click on it there. So you can see it's an amplitude amplitude and compression and then dynamics processing. We can do voiceover, voice limiter, 
This is some test audio. Testing the audio for the video, Tommy Calloway. Subscribe if you haven't already. See, I like I like to use my own preset that I made, which is you can look at, you can look at this if you want. I'll zoom in so you can see the settings. Um, but it just boosts the presence of my voice, kind of the the bass, just a little bit. But for this, ready seriously. This is some test. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the uh, Tommy voice one. Test audio testing the audio for. I like how it boosts the presence just slightly. I'm gonna hit apply. All right, so there we go. Got dynamics processing done. Now let's go to our parametric equalizer. Filter and EQ, parametric equalizer. And loudness maximizer. For the video, Tommy Calloway. Subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously. This is some test audio. Testing. You can see it gives it just a little boost. And lastly, we're going to go to... Uh, well, not lastly, actually, we got two more steps. Adaptive noise reduction. Um, so this is this is the settings that I use uh, for adaptive noise reduction. You can copy this if you want. Um, usually, adaptive noise reduction is pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, you can do the manual noise reduction if you want, but I found that adaptive is just. It's pretty decent at getting rid of all the extra noise. The audio for the video, Tommy Calloway. Subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously. And you can preview it, you know, through the steps while you're doing it. Uh, two more steps. Normalize. Uh, if you just, usually in the favorites, you have normalize to negative, uh, minus 0.1 dB as a preset. That's fine. We can use that one. And we just go, last step is hard limiter. Uh, or hard limit. A hard limit to negative uh, minus 0.1 dB. This is some test audio. Testing the audio for the video. Tommy Calloway. Subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously. There you go. Uh, so the audio has been processed. Um, and that's that's it. You just hit save. Uh, save it as wherever you want to save it. That's fine. There we go. Uh, so our audio has been processed. It sounds a lot better. Um, and so I'm going to process the audio in this video right now. So here's a sample of my auto before being processed. Here's a sample of my auto after being processed. Boom. There's the difference. Um, and a couple of things you can do to make your audio sound just that much better. Um, make sure that you're talking into the microphone. Um, you know, the, the closer you are to your microphone, the better it's going to sound. Uh, so I, I try to stay within six inches of my microphone. I can't always do that if I'm trying to keep my microphone off screen. Just get the audio into your system as clean as possible. Uh, a couple of recommendations I have if you are already talking into your microphone, but you're still getting a lot of reverb and echo and you want to minimize that, get some sound foam. Um, I've done several videos on sound foam and it's made processing my audio a lot easier. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. Uh, if you're already subscribed again, thank you. If you're subscribing now, welcome to the channel. Again, I do requests, so please leave them in the comments and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna teach you how to create the, the red button on the side. Controller, uh, Google Hangout. avoid this type of attack. Here's the thing. Just be careful.